Welcome to Manic Autistic Superhero Chapter 12 Virus. Timeline 001 2020. That's right, 2020. So much can change in such a short time. An alternate version of myself warned of a future war, but had no mention of the virus that came to be in the last months. So, did it just not happen in that timeline? All these people staying home. It's contributing to light pollution. Only the moon breaks through. Even if the view is bad, it's nice to get out. Connecting. Ah, Manic, Vider. Yo, hey. So are you two making progress on that robot project? Yeah, kind of. What? Manic keeps trying to turn our robot into an AI. And? And they keep messing up my code. No, I did not. No one else has clearance. Hiss! I told you. I The only code I know is AS3 and not well. Oh yeah, like you don't know basic Java. Why would I? Java is everywhere. That doesn't mean guys. Guys, stop it. This isn't productive. Listen, I'll access the logs to see who changed what. Thank you. Hey, wait. This is strange. What? Well, I see here a bunch of edits that have no auth code, but still went through. What? There are only three auth codes, right? Yeah, but these changes weren't authorized at all, but still went through. So, what are these changes doing? Huh? Like, is this a hack attempt or any spyware? Well, no, some of them were actually changes I was planning to do. So then why are you making such a big deal? Manic, we don't know who did this. But you said it's useful. Well, Vidor is right. These unidentified changes need to stop. I'll send word for a new security algorithm. Does this mean a new auth code to memorize? Probably. Alright, that's all I need from you, Vidor. Manic, I'd like to talk to you more. Okay. Bye, Vade. Oh, he's gone. Uh, so, Manic, I need to talk to you about the Immortals. Oh, okay. Why? Well, because I have Telex memories, but not his powers. What? I thought you got a new power for each rebirth. I don't have the Immortal ability. How do you know? Listen, I've gotten memories from past lives, but I always hate it. I wish to be an ordinary person, and I got it. How do you know? I was dead for like four minutes once. Um, what? Yeah, it was Chow's final test, the one that got her to back off. So wait, when I was Talik, I made a tupla. A what? It's like an additional consciousness. It. I did it because I was so lonely. Chow controlled me. So, my theory, when I was reborn, the Tupla got the immortal ability and I got the memories. Oh, for- Don't tell me! I think you- I said don't say that! But Manic, what if it's true? I don't have immortality. How do you know? Uh, please don't kill me. But how does immortality even work? Because I'm not impervious. Immortality isn't invulnerability. It kicks in only when the brain loses blood flow or the heart stops. Okay, I've heard enough. I'm not immortal. Don't bring this up again. Yeah, but don't. Alright, good night. Night. Shadow's office served as a sanctuary for supers during the pandemic. A lot of us stayed in. Since we needed to go out a lot for our work, relocating protected our families from repeated possible exposures. Vine's father, having head trauma, was an at-risk patient, so Shadow's doctors offered t to give him a room for in the office. Melvin, having learned of his origin, sort of, was, was working hard to help our cause. He was doing research constantly and served as a messenger and secretary. Split was the most active hero. We were all getting used to wearing masks while saving people. It was Split's suggestion to wear the masks around the clock. I used to live in the nicest part of town. I was a hero who kept it safe. Now I'm just one of the nameless victims. Faceless, nameless, aimless humans who no one will ever miss. This window. My only, er, uh, window to, uh, what am I looking at? 
Smash! Yo, put some clothes on your bleep! Eli wasn't doing well in civilian quarters. He and Sam were at a stalemate. Eli hadn't caused any issues, but wasn't appearing in any of his court dates. Shadow, however, had an idea to push him out of hiding. Eli was still using Shadow's company for his health insurance. Against my wishes, Shadow cut him off the plan. What's this? Apologies. Your health care provider is refusing to cover your meds until you appear in court. What? Huh? Ah! Ah! Smash, 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 smash. Yo, shut up! You shut up! They cut off my insulin! Nice knowing ya! Ugh! What am I supposed to do? I don't have income. I don't have insurance. I need help. But Chow's numbers stop working. Who else can help? Raw sides with Matic. Talik and Aries are MIA. That leaves Ryojin and Liz. Oh boy, do I even have international calling. Madam, you have an international collect call from a super dude? Ah, uh, yes. I'll accept. Liz, I need help. Obviously, we aren't exactly on a chit-chat schedule. I've been cut off my health plan. Ah, I recall you have diabetes. But given your lineage, it won't be fatal. Well, it's not pleasant either. I'd imagine not. Listen, Ishu. Eli. Edric, please. How about this? As a queen, I have the ability to grant citizenship. I'll set you up with a home and all the proper paperwork on one of my paradise nations. Paradise nations? Yes, we divided the world long ago. My assignment was Europe, and I've made it quite nice. So, I'd have to leave. Of course. Listen, Edric, you know the end is soon, right? We have to start prep. Things are about to get rough, and if you don't want to help- What? Why do you think I'm bailing? Aren't you? Well, I mean, Edric, we're going to have to choose sides. Chal is with your aunt, and I am with humanity. Humanity? Edric, honestly, you know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, but I thought I had longer to- <sighs> Collect your thoughts and call me back. Click. Okay. I've got this terrifying feeling As if I'm only living while I'm dreaming And you Speak words with no meaning Lies I used to be believing I could never see you deceiving me I'm trapped by my own mind Is my body blind? Unable to read between the lines. Ah, I hear a voice. Something in me is awake. I, I hear a song, and I don't know what move to take. Is it real? What I hear and what I feel. Am I here? Or do I have a puppeteer? Did you hear that? And did you see that black cat? I don't know what's real. Is my soul starting to peel? Am I jumping dimensions every choice I choose to take? What's causing all this tension is my mind about to break. I can't tell if that flashing is in my eyes or on the screen. My hardware is crashing. Do you know what I mean? Ring! Ring! Ah! Ring! 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 Hello? Manic, what change did you approve just now? What? You ripped our robot! Ugh, no. I have an elaborate theory my dreams are controlling electronics. Are you saying you don't know code? But your dreams do! Blech! 90% sure that's what's happening. Just get to the lab. Ugh, I knew working with her was a bad idea. Vider? Oh, hey, you were the cat. Vider, listen, this is an advice I stole from Chow. Did you not hear me explain the robot? It can detect events that cause new ev dimensions. What? You and Manic meet me, Melvin, and Jenkins in the other lab. Oh, Shadow, I think. Melvin, it's fine. Jenkins? You've been working with Jenkins? You know I hate him! 
He's your father. I hate him! Five minutes later. This is a lab dedicated to both dimensional travel and our mirror dimension. Mirror dimension? We believe it's the dimension I'm from. What? It's true. Chow and her sister were originally from another dimension. They were the first from there to come to here. And Chow used this to get here. Her sister has one too. Thanks to Mira and Jenkins, we've been able to decipher how it works. Jenkins decoded it. Thank you, but Melvin, without you- Arrgh! What does this have to do with the robot? The de That device says your robot is sentient. That's what. Sentient? Gods bleep it, Manic! Before you scold Manic, the device also says that that robot and everyone here has a direct impact on the multiverse. Ugh! But if the mirror dimension is an alien Earth, what dimension is m the alternate me from? Well, they were undoubtedly from a parallel dimension. Two main realities exist, our, a reptilian Earth and our mammalian Earth. As far as we can tell, the, our multiverse is unstable. This device has a dimensional travel code. The code is written in our mammalian map, so it only exists the, if the person who wrote it exists. It's true. The plan Chow had been given f instructed for invasion in the year 3030. Yes, but when the invasion happened in a parallel dimension, the travel code stops existing. That's why the alternate Manic had seen so many alternate invasion plans. Okay, so their goal is to invade our Earth after this code exists. Wait, if it's our code, how did they get it? As far as I can tell, our entire dimension exists due to a paradox. The reptilian Earth existed first, and our mammalian Earth only exists due to their influence. Whoever wrote the code knew that we'd never exist if the reptilian Earth never got the code. We don't know who wrote the code, but we do know more about the numbers your alternate self spoke of. It turns out the numbers are identifiers of the dif dimensions. The higher the number, the less of a role the person plays. So, like a countdown? Sort of. Wait, what are our numbers? Mira's number is five. Vider, you and Jenkins have the number two. Oh, fabulous. And Manic's number is one. What? No, it's not! Shadow, I can't be the most influential version of me. I'm horrible. Manic, wait, what's your number? Well... Sam's number reads as an alien letter, the translated equivalent of A. Immortals read differently. Bolt! Huh? Bolt numbered differently. They have to be the one who wrote the code. That's not a bad theory. However, we haven't seen Bolt since he fused with the other you and jumped dimensions. But we can detect alternate dimensions with this, right? Right. So we need to find them. Do you know what dimension the alternate me was from? Yes, technically. Then that's our ne next move. Recover Bolt. Sigh. Okay, but that may be more difficult than you think.